Good morning, my name is Steven. We're here for day two aboard Carnival Radiance for a fun day at sea. We have a full day on board here. I am not sure what we're doing, but I do know for sure we're right now gonna go to breakfast or brunch because Carnival does believe in waking up late after a long night. Great, because I always miss out on breakfast because it's always so late, but it's actually 9.15. We already have a reservation. Dad got one. He's already on his way trying to get us a table. We gotta book one in the app. It should be like 10 minute away. Then you head down and go check in. So we're gonna go do that right now. Perfect. Found Dad so hanging out on the pool deck. Good morning, Dad. Good morning. The table's ready. Look at 9 o'clock. Actually, the pool's not busy whatsoever. There's a lot of chairs over because everybody's so packed in do, there. Uh, There's no chairs in there at all. In the theater? In the theater. So they're doing a live broadcast from the theater. It's kind of like a morning show where they kind of give an update on what's going on. Thankfully they broadcast it because I'm um, trying to get in the theater. I guess it's really difficult. We just figured out that there's no way to cross all the way in deck three. So you have to go up to deck five and cross over. It kind of uh, has made a lot of people really mad that the uh, layout of the ship isn't exactly the easiest. We're uh, still learning. All right, we made it to breakfast. We got salmon to start off salmon. with. Something that we always get for breakfast. The crazy thing is, is that earlier when we were walking in, there was a lot of people waiting at the entrance. It was really chaotic. Simple thing, if you're coming on Carnival, go on the app, book a table, come when your table's ready. There's no need to sit in front of the dining room, waiting endlessly. There's your app. There's the app right there. When they call you, just show the waiter the number, your table number, and you'll walk right in. Forget waiting at the door. Maybe I should've gotten steak and eggs. You should've. Steak and eggs for breakfast. Oh, it's tender. Look at that. Better than one last night. You should've got one. I didn't want a steak this early in the morning, but I'll try a little bit myself. Breakfast was good. It was a little bit of a mess, I'll be honest. We had to wait quite a while for a lot of things. We tried to get a refill on water, and it just, I couldn't get the attention of any of the crew members or any of the wait staff, which was kind of unfortunate. And it's not because they're mean or they're, they don't care, it's because they're just so slammed with work. I mean, they're running back and forth constantly, trying to fill all these orders. Everyone's ordering everything. I understand it's a lot of work and I, I can't put too much harsh judgment upon them, but I will say, yeah, it was a little tough. The, the things were a lot slower. I know that people next to us, they were waiting forever to try and get an order through. Breakfast was good though. I mean, it, it was really hard to screw up eggs and hash browns. You can't really mess that one up. So it was good. Everything was good. I enjoyed it. But we actually found ourselves all the way to the front of the ship on deck 10 which is really awesome. We have a great view. There's even a wing. We're one deck up and all the way down over there. It's a little tough to see from this angle, but Dad was standing out on our balcony and saw people over here and decided yeah, we should cool. try and find it. I'm still trying to debate on whether or not I'm gonna do the slides. It's a little colder today. Well, it's not colder. It's on the cold side. Ooh, he's kind of getting stuck on this slide. But um, as I was saying, it's on the colder side. It's actually warmer today, but going from 50 degrees to 60 degrees does not make being the slides any better, but the biggest thing is that it's not windy right now. It's cold. Which was, it's windy. What do you mean? It's not, not windy. It's not as windy as I thought it would have been. Oh, it's 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 windy. You put your bathing suit on and get in that water. It's windy. So I want to see Steven do this. But for those interested, we have Aqua Tunnel and Twister. And which one's better? That's one or this one? This one. It goes a lot faster. Oh, okay. All right, we've made it back to the room, and I just wanted to say that he has cleaned the room. The room is now clean, and we did get a towel animal. We got a dog. It's pretty cool. It's kind of weird getting a towel animal in the middle of the day, but hey, you know what? One time a day service, can't complain. Did put my camera down to go get Big Chicken Shack's restaurant. This chicken looks pretty good. They're making it right there as they go. They're frying it, so let's see. Woo! That's on fire. Oh, man. And when I say it's on fire, I mean it's still hot. I and mean, I walked all the way from the back of the ship to the front of the ship. Wow, that's actually really good. Big chicken is free, so you can go there whenever it's open and grab some chicken. They do chicken sandwiches as well. They have like a thin french fries, almost look like chips. I thought they were chips from afar, but they are french fries. Seasoning's really good. I'm gonna have to go there more because it's just that good. But there's so many restaurants I gotta try. I mean, this is just big chicken. We gotta get to Guy's Burgers. But a lot of good food on Carnival. I'm actually very impressed. The dining rooms and the buffet, maybe they're okay. But their specialty restaurants that are included so far are looking to be really good. Big Chicken, could not recommend it anymore. If you love chicken, that's the restaurant for you. Shaq, you have a good one. That's a Guy's Burger joint and Dad's already eating. He already had one burger earlier. He said it was good. It was good. The greatest thing about it is they have a toppings bar that allows you to just go pick whatever toppings you want. Build your own burger, that's the best. 
That's the best right there. I give in, in and out run for their money. We just finished up eating Guy's Burger, and I will say that's probably one of the best that I've had in a while. That's a that's a good burger. Probably the best that's burger at sea. Uncle, that's a good burger. That toppings bar is amazing. I said it already, but yeah, mushrooms and onions for me, perfect. Great place to go for lunch. Always have to stop if uh, someone wants to say hi or be in the vlog. Always have to do it. Well, on the other side of the ship, though, there is Blue Iguana, but unfortunately, it's already closed. They closed at 2.30 today. They're open for breakfast and lunch. I want to try one of their tacos. We'll get that, hopefully tomorrow. Tomorrow's our last chance. What I need you to do is write down your answer. Be as truthful as possible, because guess what? That makes this a lot more entertaining for everybody else involved, okay? I asked you to rate your first kiss on a scale of one to 10. Robert, you said? 10. 10. Aww. Celia, you said? Hey. Celia, why? Ladies, I asked you, what was your husband's last girlfriend's name? Ashley. Oh. Okay, and you said? That's right. <laughs> she said, don't you ever say her name again. All you can do is shake your head. That's fine. If there was an NFL ref in your bedroom, what would they always call, sir? You said? Illegal hands. <laughs> Illegal hands. And you said? Flag on the field. Flag on the field. <laughs> illegal hands. That is not a match. That is it. Give it up for these amazing couples as they make their way back down to their seats. If you had a good time at the Love and Marriage Show, say yeah. yeah. All right, dressed and ready to go to the main dining room. It's actually formal night. I didn't formal night actually dress or pack for formal night. Dad's got his button up, and I got my anchor button up that I wear like every cruise, so. So for those of you wondering if Carnival on the three night cruises does a formal night, they totally do. I, it completely shocked me. I didn't even think they would try, but they totally do it. Oh, shoot. I dropped my mask. You're wearing it. Uh, 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 I got my mask. <laughs> just while we're waiting for our tail to be called, just decided to come in and see what's uh, going on in the liquid lounge. And, uh, I have no idea, but I guess the weather show is called Soul Down. actually staying for the entire show of Soulbound. It actually was really good. We weren't planning on staying or even coming. Glad we did. It was worth it. It was a great show. Even Dad was a little bit surprised by it. Go see it. You need to see the show. So if you love soul music, you're gonna love this show, but there's a little bit more to just this singing and dancing. There's a slight story to it that I really enjoyed to it. The effects were great. The effects were amazing. They used projection, they Laser, used lasers. 3D. It's, it's awesome, it really is all Turn awesome. Turn around and look at it. The way they use Liquid Lounge is amazing. They came out onto the dance floor and they were killing it the entire show. Really great show, great singing, great dancing, amazing effects. I recommend it 100% if you're on board Carnival Radiance. I get it a 9.5 for sure. A 9.5? 9.5. For this kind of venue, yeah, that's definitely. the best use of this space. I'm amazed at yeah. how they use the venue. Yeah, for this venue, I didn't think it was gonna be like this. So, like I said, though, we actually didn't end up skipping dinner, so we had to rebook another check-in time, which is perfectly fine. If you feel like it's not gonna work out, you can cancel that time and then rebook a time later, and that's exactly what we did. Thankfully, they allow you to do that, and they don't punish you for canceling your time. One thing I want to say is they have a lot of photo backdrops all around the ship there to take your picture. That's actually pretty impressive. Royal had like nine. So the fact that Carnival is going all out with the photography makes me happy. It's just because they have the photo spots doesn't, doesn't mean I'm going to be taking any photos. That's for a different cruise, an upcoming cruise that I'll be doing, hopefully. I'll be doing lots of photos on that. I'll get a photo package and everything. But this one, no photos. We're okay. Me and Dad don't need that many photos. Plus, we have a camera and we can do it ourselves. 
kind of. But I do want to mention, I've heard lots of complaints about navigating this ship. That's probably the biggest con of going on Carnival Radiance is the navigation of the ship. Getting around can be very complicated. Up one deck, across, and then down the next deck. It's annoying a lot of passengers, not just us. Um, I'm kind of starting to figure it out as time goes on, but I've definitely noticed that a lot of people are getting really irritated from all those problems. I just wanted to give a shout out to Josh who came up to me and recognized me from the Disney Wonder. He's on board as well. What? Follow Steven. <laughs> Thank you. Subscribe and follow. That was awesome. We were just waiting to get into dinner and we're getting in right now, but shout out to Josh. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for coming up to me and saying hi. I really appreciate that. All right, made it to dinner. We're still off in the back. Actually, we were just right over there last night, so we were not too far off from where we were. I'm looking at the menu right here. And I think this person right here is going to get the striped bass. And I said, this person right here is going to get the prime rib. I don't know what that person over there is going to get. But this, 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 we're getting a striped bass right here. So we gotta, we got to get two entrees. Got to check it out. After half an hour, we finally got an order through. And we finally got what we ordered. And here, yeah, I've got the it's mushroom good. bisque. This is good. Is it? Yeah. Unfortunately, all I can get is a boring house salad with dressing. I will say, as far as allergies are concerned, it seems to be Carnival is the worst with it. I'm not sure whether I'm doing something wrong or whatever, but they um, they do try to help me and, and try to guide me in the right direction, try to get something that I can have. And fortunately, when it comes to appetizers, desserts, there's really not much. So, house salad for me and a, and a fruit plate at the end. If you uh, know that I'm doing something wrong here, then let me know because uh, next time I'll definitely do it better. Prime rib. Our favorite. At least my favorite. Let's see if this is any good. It's pretty good. The only thing it needs is au jus, but unfortunately I can't have it. But that can have it. Is it good with the au jus? Au jus is good. As you can tell. You put a lot on it. Very good. Primary on board, very tender, it's tasty, cooked great. But if you know anything about me, primary is just my favorite, so I don't, that could just be a biased opinion. Did you try the salmon, or not the salmon, the striped bass? Striped bass. Any good? Yeah, it's good. It's good, but the primary is better. Definitely. There it is. Already torn apart and eaten half of, for the imaginary person that's right next to Dad. Dad's got the chocolate cake. Ooh, that's a lot of chocolates. It's a lot of chocolates. It's very chocolatey. Wow. Unfortunately, I can't have any of the desserts. I had to have Dad get one for me to try on camera, but I guess uh, not the best choice. Oh, thank you for trying it. If you love chocolate, this is for you. If not, maybe pass on it. And for me, just a plain fruit. Plain plate. fruit. Fruit's good enough for me, I guess. All right, well, that was another good dinner in Sunset. The yeah, Sunset dining room, really good. Food was amazing. I just, again, you know, I wish they did a, a little bit more towards allergies, at least for desserts. I mean, it's probably for the better, though. They do like fruit. I don't really want it, but it's for the better because you need to be healthier, especially for if I'm gonna keep doing cruises like this. I need to, I need to work on it. It's uh, getting to me. 10 days on Royal Caribbean was a, was a killer, and yeah, so maybe it's for the best that I can't get other things for appetizers and dessert, but that's okay. All right, I don't know what we're doing, but we'll, uh, we'll figure it out and see what's going on. Well, unfortunately, the limelight is full, so we can't go see the comedian, but I do want to mention, while I have, while we're here, I want to mention that this is really difficult to get to. If you don't know it's here, you won't be able to find it because the only way to get to it is from this elevator shaft, the midship elevators on deck four. To the other side and I can get to it. And they're saying, no, it's on deck four. And I said, okay, where? If you don't know that's there, you'll just walk right past it. Yep. Or like I came down here and I was like, where is it? And I kept seeing the Sunrise Dining Room. So I'm like, okay, where is it? All right, well, I'm in front of Radiance Casino, the casino on board Radiance. They did make a change until the 31st of January. There was to be no smoking in the casino. That happened yesterday. Remember, if you watched yesterday's video at the end of the day, we got that letter of the policy changes. The no smoking policy came into effect last night. And now it is in full swing. There's no more smoking in that casino, which I am all for. I do not like the smell of smoke. It makes things harder to breathe. Great opportunity to go to the casino right now, which we might do because now it's a no smoking casino. Carnival. I approve of that decision, I really do. But 
I doubt they're gonna keep it full time. So if you're going on a cruise for next month and you like smoking, you may want to change it to later. But we're still we're still sailing, and that's the most important thing. Cruises aren't canceled. There's just some there's just changes going left and right. So you gotta be careful because things can change really quick. But I'm not allowed to report the casino, so we're gonna stop here. Well, Dad just donated fifty dollars to the casino. <laughs> Really quickly too. Really quickly. Not even like we we're there maybe 10 minutes and the $50 was gone. But the cool thing is they do have $5, $6 minimums, which is nice. So that way you can try to make your money last longer. You know, put an asterisk on that though. Last longer but by how much? Anyways, the violinists are still here, still jamming out. Alright, we decided to come back to the shops to get some clothes and Dad is getting a few things. They actually ended up having a sale two for 30. It's the same thing I paid the last time. So day one, no sales. Day two, one sale. My recommendation, if you're on board, wait till you see what you want on sale. I mean, there's always a possibility they run out, but if they don't run out, you could possibly save money by waiting an extra day or two. All right, we made it back to the room and we're already talking about the disembarkation process. Oh boy. Day two. And we're already talking about it. These three night cruises are faster than anything, let me tell you. They are so fast. And, oh man, the fact that we already have to start planning to get off the ship is a, is a bummer. I mean, three nights go by really quickly, but I get it. We have to start talking about disembarkation, which we will start talking about tomorrow. Overall, great day at sea. I did not do as much as I wanted to. Didn't get to record as much, but that's okay. We still had a great time. A little bit of time in the casino. We ate a lot of food today, which is... Um, something that I always seem to do on cruise ships, but yeah, Guy's Burger, number one, I think so. And, and Big Chicken, that's a, that's a number two position too. Soulbound was a really good show, as I mentioned earlier, recommended. A lot of great things today, a lot of great things. Carnival was actually doing a lot better than I thought it was going to do. It's uh, definitely a surprise, a good surprise, but surprise nevertheless. Make sure if you want to see more of the cruise, be sure to check out tomorrow's video as well. As always, this isn't a goodbye, but just a see you real soon.